I'd like to remind Mr. Mike Pompeo that NATO is in fact an alien that is extraterrestrial intelligence organization. I am one Sir Grove. This is C4CW casting 495 celebrities worldwide. And if you are fans, new to the show, true fans, and not not true fans, not not true fans, then I, we, 495, most certainly appreciate you. I want to join the Council on Foreign Relations, man. Can someone hook me up with the fucking gig at the Council uh, for Foreign Relations, CFR? Trilateral Commission, perhaps? I mean, either or, man. I mean, I'd like to get down with either or. Can a one Sir Grove get connected to CFR or Trilat? I'm trying to get in the fucking door. Hook it up! Man, please, just extend that invite because I am so fucking game. Um, Let's talk about NATO, man. The Non-Terrestrial Alien Technology Organization. Perhaps y'all have heard of it. Perhaps you have not. NATO. It's an organization that's lesser known to most of the established modern world. Yeah, 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 kids who play with G.I. Joes, male and female, you know, not to be gender-biased or gender-centric. I'm just simply saying, kids who fucking play war, you know, with army women and army men, um, they know about NATO, you know? The Non-Terrestrial Alien Technology Organization, N-A-T-O, but... A lot of folks in mainstream society, they don't. If you were to take a poll of recent college university graduate students and ask them, excuse me, ma'am, sir, or neutral, whomever, a question for you. Do you know what NATO stands for? A lot of times they'll be like, um, I've heard of it, something about, uh, I really honestly cannot recall, I have to admit, despite the fact that I'm a college university graduate recently, a lot of people don't know about fucking NATO, man, they don't, and if they do, and they can tell you what the, what the acronym stands for, Ask them who the current fucking Allied Supreme Commander is. They'll be like, uh, the what? Who? The Allied, uh, Supreme Commander? And you'd be like, yeah, that's what I said. Do you know who that person is? Male or female? Do you know that person's name? Do you know the former? And they're like, uh... I honestly don't. Who the fuck knows about NATO, man? The Russians, they hate fucking NATO. They, the Russians, they hate NATO. They, the Russian Federation. They, the Russians, hate NATO. Oh, yes, they do. Oh, yes, they do. Oh, 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 NATO. Um, because, dude, it's an alien organization. And they're not budging. And they refuse to go away. And the Russians would like for NATO to disperse. Um, they just don't like the game theory Behind NATO. Because what the Russians believe, not saying everyone in Russia, not everyone in Russia thinks the same. No. Not all Russians think alike. Um, but militarily speaking, geopolitically speaking, a lot of Russian thinkers, strategists, geopolitical strategists, analysts, they fucking despise NATO 
They're like, <clears throat> Fuck NATO! Um, I don't know if Russians say Fook. I think that's more of like a, like a Dutch thing. Um, I don't even know if it's Dutch, man. We went down this road before, man. What was I talking about? I, is it, is it, is it a Norwegian thing? Is that, is that what the, the Norwegians say? Fook you! Um, I don't know. Let's look up the, let's look up. I have like. Russian dirty talk. I have a PDF somewhere of some like Russian slang words and I don't know them off the top. I don't I don't know Russian like slang. Let's see. Let's look it up. Word fuck you in Russian. Google's corny. It actually puts asterisks next to the fuck. Really Google, you're going to censor the word Fuck when I'm looking up the word fuck on Google. F star star star. That's fucking corny. All right, so what does it say here? I know I said word, but then I was like, well, I should have said phrase, but I didn't really give a fuck or a shit or even two shits or even three fucking shits. How to say fuck you in Russian? Word hippo. Um... Yabat Tabya. I don't even know. I just I, I I don't I don't think there's a I don't think there's a yeah sound. I don't I don't think I don't think in Russia it's yeah. I don't even know why I just kinda jumped to conclusions like like that. And I don't even know if that's what it's like, like saying here. Hold on. I don't know if this you know, when you're looking at the um the search result and you see one thing and then it's like dot dot dot, but then you actually expand that link and open it. And it's related to something totally different. As soon as this guy gets the fuck out of my way here, man. And realizes that I'm trying to fucking park. Because he's looking at me like, what are you doing? And I'm like, well, what does it look like I'm doing, you fucking dick sucking punk? Huh? I'm trying to park here, bitch. What? What does it say? Fuck you. What'd you say, bitch? Fuck you. Who the fuck are you talking to? Fuck you. Fuck you too, bitch. Fuck you. No, I said fuck you, bitch. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> That's on this website that I was telling you about, man. Check it out. Trahak tibia. Trahak tibia. Trahak tibia. It says T R A K H A T. Isn't that? Isn't that? Is the K silent? Why the fuck would K be silent? I mean, I'm looking at the Cyrillic and it looks like T R A K H A T. And it sounds like she's saying Trahat instead of Trahat. Trahat. Trahat Tebya. I don't know, dude. Trahat Tebya. Trahat Tebya. And she's saying in, 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 instead of Tebya, it sounds like Tebya. Like an E sound, like Tebya. I don't know, dude. I'll have to work on it. More more words in Russian? Go fuck yourself? Go fly a kite? What? That's fucking funny. That's funny, man. It looks like there's two different ways to say fuck you. What the fuck? Idinaku? D E D E D Nahu Oh hui. I I I okay over the windshield wipers. Hold on, let me turn down the AC and the windshield wipers. Idinahui. Idinahui. Yabat tibia. Yabat tibia. Interesting. So anyway, um NATO. Yeah. This is, this is what Russia says. This is what Russia says to NATO. Yeah. Yeah. Say it again. How do you feel about NATO, Russia? Yeah. And how else do you feel about NATO, Russia? Yeah. That means go fuck yourself and go fly a fucking kite. <laughs> no, I'm joking, man. 
I'm on the U.S. side, man, and I think NATO and Russia should just be cool like that. You know, everyone should just cool it out. But um, but NATO's definitely a non-terrestrial alien technology organization. Absolutely fucking certain I am. Um, I know you're probably like, come on, Grove. Are you serious, dude? Do you really believe that? Well, I know that. I know that NATO is alien, okay? Um, and I'll explain how I know this. The U.S. creates shit and then pretends like it's some terrestrial shit. You know, with like humanoids like the Allied Supreme Commander to NATO. In fact, let's look it up because I don't know who the fucking Allied Supreme Commander is currently. I need to fucking familiarize myself, especially if I want to be part of the Trilateral Commission. Let's see. Current Allied Supreme Commander, NATO. Go. According to NATO, the current SACEUR is Todd D. Walters, United States Air Force, who took up his functions on the 3rd of May 2019. His NATO command is exercised from the Supreme Headquarters Allied Powers Europe at Casto, near Mons, Belgium. Salute! <laughs> okay, so the current S-A-C-E-U-R, Sierra Alpha Charlie Echo Uniform Romeo, is Todd D. Wolters, with an O instead of an A, not Walters, Wolters, who took up his functions on 3 May 2019. His NATO command is exercised from the Supreme Headquarters Allied Powers Europe, S H. A P E shape Sierra Henry Alpha Papa Echo. All right, that's the shape headquarters at Casto near Mons, Belgium. Um, yeah, and that's from NATO headquarters. Bet so Supreme Allied Commander Europe Sakur. Uh, let's see. Non-terrestrial alien technology organization dot INT. Yes. Forward slash CPS forward slash EN for English and then forward slash NATOHQ. Looks like uh, last updated 3 May 2019 at 1122. Uh, okay. Let's see. He is traditionally, quote, a U.S. commander dual-hatted as commander of the U.S. European Command. Okay. Roles and responsibilities. Okay. Sakur is, uh... Hey, <laughs> you know what's funny? It actually, if you look at it, S-A-C-E-U-R, saucer. You see what I'm saying, man? Flying saucer. They're real slick, man. Hidden in plain sight type shit, man. They live, my friends. They live. Saucer, Sakur, is responsible for the overall command of NATO military operations. He conducts the necessary military planning for operations, including the identification of forces required for the mission and requests these forces from NATO countries as authorized by the NATO, <laughs> by the North Atlantic Council, and as directed by the MC Saucer, analyze uh, analyses. What is it? Anal analyzes? Oh, right, because it's European, so it says analyzes, but it's not spelled the same way. These operational needs in cooperation with the Supreme Allied Commander Transformation, S A C T. Sacked. Uh, the Supreme Commander makes recommendations to NATO's political and military authorities on any military matter that may affect his ability to carry out his responsibilities for day to day business. He reports to the MC. MC! Uh, composed of military representatives for chiefs of defense of NATO member countries. He also has direct access to the chiefs of defense and may communicate with appropriate national authorities as necessary to facilitate 
to facilitate the accomplishment of his tasks. So there's a lot of information here about what Saucer does. That's dope. Dope. Saucer. Let's look at it in Russian. Let's read it in Russian. I'll try. Let's see. This website uses cookies to ensure we can provide you with the best browsing experience. Oh, I'm sure it does. I'm sure it does. Um, I clicked on fucking Russian and it says information about this topic is available in English and French. No, I said Russian, bitch. Didn't I fucking goddamn say Russian? So why am I not seeing shit in Russian here? Huh? The fuck? Fucking cornball. How the fuck is it not showing me the shit in Russian? This doesn't show it in Ukrainian when you click on that either. Ah, uh, but there it is in French. I don't know French. I don't know. I don't know Francais. Francophone speaking countries. Um, yeah, so NATO is, is an alien intelligence, uh, operation disguised as a human program. Uh, well, working, working together. So let's look up Robert Dean, former NATO intelligence officer, NATO. Here we go. Robert Orel Dean was, oh shit, oh my goodness, he passed, damn, man, he passed in October last year, man, that's fucked up, man, he's from Tucson, Arizona, says he was an American ufologist from Tucson, Arizona, RIP, bro, straight up. Robert Dean was very well-spoken, man. Very well-spoken. Says, quote, Dean retired from the U.S. Army as a command sergeant major after a 28-year career. He appeared on radio programs, TV documentaries, and at conferences discussing the subject of UFOs and a government cover-up of alien visitations to Earth. All right, let me see. They had him down as a ufologist. Okay, but he's really, he was originally a NATO intelligence officer. All right, so then it goes on to say, quote, Dean claimed to have viewed a classified government document called The Assessment that allegedly discussed threats posed by alien activity on Earth and concluded that no such threats existed. Dean said he considers himself a professional, a professional UFO researcher, Um, and had cosmic top secret clearance while in the military. Now, for those of you who don't know what cosmic top secret is, we're going to expand the Wikipedia so that we can explain it. Now, cosmic is not supposed to have anything to do with aliens. It's just the name is what we're told is what we're told. Okay. So it's not like cosmic clearance on the surface has anything to do with aliens. Okay, it's just the name of that level of clearance. But it does. Um, so it says, quote, for example, sensitive information shared amongst NATO allies has four levels of security classification, from most to least classified. So one would be cosmic top secret, which is uh, CTS. Two is NATO secret, three is NATO confidential, and four is NATO restricted. So, uh, Robert Dean had cosmic top secret, CTS. And I know someone else who has cosmic. He's clued me in on some shit. I'm not going to say any fucking thing more than that. I ain't gonna squeal. Um, I ain't gonna say shit. Um... But yeah, so, goes on. Quote, a special case exists with regard to NATO unclassified. Documents with this marking, which is NU, November uniform, are NATO property, copyright, and must not be made public without NATO permission. Copy that. Um, 
Yeah. So Robert Dean, going to go back to Robert Dean here. Y'all are like, Grove, this man, he was a NATO intelligence officer with cosmic clearance and he, uh, he knew about the UFO cover up. Well, yeah, that's how I found out about it was from him. (laughs) You know what I mean? Well, I knew about it, but he's the one that elucidated, highlighted some things, shed light on certain things and explain things in depth, basically corroborated what I already fucking knew. Um, okay. So, so it says Dean sued his employer for discrimination, saying he was treated unfairly because of his belief in UFOs and because of his age reportedly settling for a hundred thousand dollars. Yes. So what it doesn't say here on, Wikipedia, because this doesn't have a lot of information here. By the way, he uh, he was 89 years old, which was my grandmother's age. Um, okay, so Robert Dean, in a video that you can see of his on YouTube, what he says is that similar to, well, he doesn't mention Bob Lazar, but similar to Bob Lazar's story, um that has come out and came out 35 years ago. Robert D. Huh, excusez-moi, monsieur. Um, madame. Robert Dean said that there are four main alien races among us. Four of them. That transit, that is, are on and off planet. Though, Most humans don't see them. There are four different races of aliens that come to this planet to and fro. And they, the ones that you don't see or recognize, obviously they don't want for you to see them for whatever reason. Maybe it's because humans smell like shit to them. You know, who knows? But they, you know, it's just like a lot of humans, they don't bother ants. You know, they're just like, oh, there's an ant on the ground. I could get a magnifying glass and fucking vaporize it, you know, with the heat of the sun focused, but probably not going to go out of my way as an advanced being to take the fucking time and energy. And, uh, though the work potential's there, you know, I, I'm just not going to do that. I'm not going to sit here and fry a fucking ant that's just trying to like get by in life. You know what I mean? Well, apparently that's how these races of aliens are. Um, albeit he says that one Race looks just like us. Yes, it does. It looks just like us because it is us. So whatever it is, it comes here and it looks just like us. And it has higher higher knowledge. It has upper, upper intel. It knows shit about what's off this planet. And it comes and it goes and it walks among us. And it sits in halls of government, walks through halls of government, is part of the government. And it scares the shit out of the terrestrial government that is familiar with it, but doesn't know exactly who they all are. So, um, that's NATO. Yes, Robert Dean was at NATO. And yes, that document and that information that he reviewed, um, was, were at NATO. Um, so I know what NATO really is. NATO is an organization that was created by aliens. (laughs) And, uh, and it's made to look like it's a terrestrial organization when in fact it's not. So, yeah. I mean, all this shit was created that way, man. The United Nations. I mean, the United Nations is one of the fucking biggest crock of shit fucking pseudo events on the fucking planet, man, as Mark Levin I'm a Levinite, man. Listen, I listen to Mark Levin every day. I'm a Levinite, okay? Mark, man, the the things that Mark Levin says speak to me, okay? Speak to me. I listen to Ben Shapiro, Larry O'Connor, Chris Plant, all of them, man. Rush Limbaugh, Mark Levin. I'm a Levinite. So... I'm just saying, the United Nations is a pseudo-event. It's a bunch of fucking stupid motherfuckers, man, 
that never really enforce any kind of real fucking law on this planet. They're just a pseudo event, made up fakes. They're you know what you know what the United Nations is? The United Nations is a deep fake. Absolutely fucking clone organization of deep fucking fraud ass fakes staged up. So humans created that shit because it's supposed to do some shit that it doesn't really fucking do. Um, NATO, on the other hand, NATO, on the other hand, is a highly effective organization. Highly effective, incredible capabilities, amazing. So amazing, in fact, that it's alien technology that most folks in mainstream society don't know exists. That's right. That's what NATO really is, man. It's a non-terrestrial alien technology organization. But you didn't hear that from me because I don't know shit. I'm just a grover. 